Hey everybody, Daniel Mosnet with Cowboy Charcoal and we've got a fishy one for you today. That's right, we're getting a little fishy uh, with things. So we've got a, a few questions that have come into our website about what to do with whole fish. And you can see we've got a couple of whole fish. We've got some nice barramundi. Uh, this recipe is super simple. Anybody can do this. We'll show you how to do this recipe. You can use it with barramundi like I have, which is similar to a sea bass. You can use a fresh trout, you can use red snapper, any lake fish that you find. It's a little cooler right now, so you might be up there doing some ice fishing. You can do the same thing. And we're just gonna show you how to take some planks, very simply, put the fish on the planks. We're gonna stuff them with some herbs. We're gonna put some lemons on top. We're gonna make a nice little mango salsa, very simple. Uh, we've got some wood chips that we're bringing a little bit more smoke. Even though we'll get the smoke from the cedar plank, we're adding a little bit more smoky flavor from some cowboy uh, uh, cherry wood chips because I like what it does. I like the color that it helps turn the fish a little bit more red. So we'll show what that looks like. So let's get started. So we've gone to the store. I didn't do any fishing. Sometimes we do fishing, but uh, I didn't do any fishing today. And we've got some, some beautiful barramundi. Now barramundi is very similar to a sea bass, right? So a little bit smaller fish. It's kind of nutty flavor inside, very mild. And we've had it all cleaned out for us. So all of the inside is nice and clean. We've taken the scales off on both of them. You can see we're starting to get a little bit of smoke from our cherry chips back there. So we've got all of this nice and clean. Now, the main thing that you want to do is you want to add salt and pepper and oil to this fish. And oil is going to be so the fish doesn't stick and cooks a little bit more evenly, helps some of that salt and pepper stick to the, to the skin. Because I don't know about you, but I'm a, a fish skin, a crispy fish skin guy. Whenever I go to the sushi places, it's always crispy fish skin for me. Uh, the other thing that's really important is when you take your, we've got some oversized cedar planks here for you today. When you get your plank, you wanna make sure that you oil the plank. The plank side that you're gonna put the fish on Make sure you oil that down too, and it'll help to ensure that the fish doesn't stick to the plank. Quick and easy little tip there for you, right? You don't need too much oil, just a little bit right on the top. Okay, now that that's done, we'll take our fish and we'll move it right to the plank, and it looks like I'm gonna put both fish on one plank. That'll make for a nice presentation. Does that look nice? You can hang that on the wall. The little guy that talks. All right, so now that we've got our fish oiled and right on our plank, we're just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to both to the outside and to the inside of the fish, okay? So a little bit to the outside and a little bit right to the inside. You wanna make sure that you salt things before you add any of your internal ingredients, like these green onions and thyme and lemon, little bit of pepper right inside and a little bit right to the outside. Okay, so now we've got some salt and pepper in there. We're just gonna stuff right in the middle. And these are just our aromatics. They're gonna help flavor the fish from the inside out as it's cooking through. And when, you're, when we're done, we'll see that this kind of chars the cedar plank, which helps with the flavor, kind of helps with the flavor when you plate this and when you bring it to the table because you have that charred smell and it just the presentation looks fantastic. All right, a couple more pieces of thyme. And all of these are optional. You know, you can use whatever you like, whatever herbs you like. You can, tarragon works great. Oregan, fresh oregano works really, really well. I'm gonna put a couple pieces of lemon inside. You can, at this point, you can use some string and you can tie them together so you have an even better presentation. I'm just gonna kind of leave them, leave them whole. Let's put a couple more right on top. And as you're slicing your lemons, make sure that you dig in there and take your seeds out. The last thing that you wanna do is have seeds in your lemon when you're serving this and somebody bites into something and there's a seed or one of the seeds falls off and it's kind of laying around. So that is our 
presentation. Here's our cedar plank. That's what our fish looks like. Like I said, you can do this with trout, you can do this with anything. The only thing you have to do with your cedar plank is make sure that you soak it in water for about two hours before you put it on, which is a little bit different than our wood chips. Our wood chips, we're just gonna put on dry, but the cedar plank, you're gonna wanna soak in water for about two hours to make sure that it doesn't burn when you put it on the grill, okay? At this point, we've got our grill on about medium high, and we're just gonna put our fish right on the grill, okay? So now we've got our fish cooking. This is gonna cook for about eight to 16 minutes or so. These are decent sized pieces of fish. We're gonna close the grill and really let all of that smoke flavor permeate into the fish meat. We've got some of our cherry. You can see our smoke coming from our cherry chips right here. And that smoke flavor is really just gonna infuse all together. And, and that's it, that's the entire recipe for the fish. I'm gonna show you how to make a quick mango slaw that's gonna go right on the side. All right, now that our fish is cooking, we're gonna show you a simple little slaw that we're gonna put right alongside the fish. Very easy. There's a million different slaw recipes that are out there. Go find the one that, like, that you like the best. This is just mangoes, red onions, a little bit of avocado, some olive oil, salt and pepper. Really simple. So mangoes, you see these big green mangoes in the grocery store. They're really easy to, to, uh, to use. All you do is you find the seed. The seed runs the lengthwise in the mango and you just cut straight down. You've, you open up all of that beautiful flesh inside and you can just cut right through it. So you take your avocado, cut right around and just give it a quick little turn. And then you've got your avocado uh, seed right in the middle. Easiest way for me to do it is you just take your knife and you just take it right out. And then you bring this right to the garden and you plant it and you grow your own avocado tree. Or you just go to the store and grab one. So to get the flesh out, I like to just cut it on a bias and then give it a quarter turn, cut it the opposite way, and then give it a simple scoop. And that brings all of the nice little pieces right inside. We'll do it to the other side. And you want about equal pieces, equal portions, avocado, to red onion and mango. So everything has a nice little even, even portion. So if you're doing a, a half a cup of mango, do a half a cup of avocado, a half a cup of red onion. So to our bowl, we have our avocado. We'll add our mangoes. Love fresh mangoes. We'll add our red onion. And I left these kind of chunky, kind of big. Um, I like this recipe. Where it's, where it's nice and big and thick and, and, and crisp and you really kind of bite into something. You can make these a lot smaller. You can do quarter inch dice with all of this if you want. Add a little bit of olive oil to help bind it and you can add all kinds of spices. You can add uh, uh, any kind of anything that you want to make it a little bit uh, spicy. You can add a little bit of paprika just to add a little bit of color. I'm just doing salt and pepper here and keeping it really simple. And then this is just gonna go right alongside our grilled lemons and our grilled barramundi fish. And that's it, that's the entire recipe, right? So you've got your mango salsa ready to go. We'll plate that alongside the fish, which we can take a look at right now. All right, we've got a few more minutes to cook here. Uh, just a couple other things to show you. So when you go and grab your cowboy wood chips, you might notice a couple of different bags. This is our new and improved cowboy bag style. You might still see a few of these on the shelves. These are the original traditional cowboy bags. It's the exact same chips. Everything's the same inside. We just have a new bag style. So either one, if you find on the store shelves, you are good to go with excellent cowboy quality chips. You can turn any gas grill into a smoker with a few wood chips and a metal tin. If you don't have a metal tin, all you have to do is add 
some wood chips to some, a foil pouch and put them right over the grill. Very simple to do. So here's our fish. It's been about, uh, about 12 minutes or so. Our fish has come to temperature. You can see it's starting to bubble right around the tail. That's when you really know that it's about done is when you see this tail bubbling and the back ends bubbling. We added a few lemons to the grill because that makes a really nice presentation. And let's show you how to put it all together. So we'll grab our plate, grab our fish here. Bring this right over. And you can see that we've charred a little bit. If you can see right underneath, I'll show you that in a second, that we've charred our cedar plant quite a bit. Now you can serve this directly. I think this makes a fantastic presentation. Today we're gonna add these fish right to our plate here. And we've oiled our plank, so our fish is gonna come off very easily. If you don't oil the plank, you're gonna have your fish stick to the plank, which is okay if you're serving it on the plank, but just make sure you oil it. Now, you can see that the bottom of the plank, that got pretty charred. And that's why you wanna make sure that you've soaked this in water for about two hours. Because instead of just getting charred, you're gonna have that plank burn, and then your fish is gonna burn, and it's all bad. So make sure you soak this for a couple hours. We'll add our grilled lemons right to the top. This is for your guests just to take the lemons. You can squeeze it right over. We'll add our slaw right to the front corner. And very simply, you have dinner for two. Took you about 15 minutes. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Mango salsa and cedar plank barramundi. This is a super easy dish for dinner tonight, during the week. This is, makes a great presentation if you're having family and friends over. Get out there, use your gas grill, turn it into a smoker. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Daniel Mosnet with Cowboy Charcoal. We'll see you next time.